Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a Google Nexus 7 running Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Just arrived, and uh, Jelly Bean is a pretty great operating system. It's pretty fast, but if you want to be able to do a couple of extra things, it's not a bad idea to root the device and unlock the bootloader. And what that'll let you do is install a custom recovery so you can completely back up or restore your device, or install custom firmware, custom ROMs based on different versions of Android. Uh, right now, there's not a lot of reason to do that, but in the future, it might be useful. And it does allow you to do things like flash a custom kernel so you can overclock the device. Um, so fortunately, it's pretty easy to uh, do that. And I wanted to do it before really playing with the Nexus 7 too much. It arrived yesterday evening and this morning I'm unlocking the bootloader because when you unlock it, it will actually uh, wipe all the data off of your device. So it's a good idea to do it right off the bat if you think you might want to do it. You can back up all of your apps and data and restore them, but uh, there's, there's really not much reason not to do this right away. There's a tool that makes the whole process pretty simple called the Nexus Root Toolkit. And you can download it from the XDA Developers Forum and you can find a link for doing that at lilliputing.com. And once you've done that, you just launch the uh, utility and choose your device from the drop-down list. It works with uh, multiple versions of the Samsung Galaxy Nexus smartphone and the Galaxy Nexus 7 um, tablet. And before you go any further, you want to go in to your settings, developer options, turn on developer options, and check the box for USB debugging. Then it's a good idea to go to About Tablet and look for your build number and make sure that you've got the correct build number for your device here. Next, click Full Driver Installation, and since we're running Windows 7, we're going to try the automatic driver configuration. And once that's done, it brings up a message telling us to plug in our device. So we're going to connect a USB cable, and it should tell us that it's installing driver software. Now, I've run into some problems doing this in the past. So if you get a message like I'm getting right here, it says device driver not installed, you might have luck going into the device manager, update driver software, browse my computer, and then browse to the directory where Nexus uh, toolkit was installed. Include subfolders, installing, install driver anyway. Okay, it looks like it is successfully installed this time. It's also recognizing my iPod. So let's click OK. It's going to check ADB status. And it says the device is connected. So now we're rebooting into bootloader mode. Now that you've successfully configured your drivers, it's time to configure them for when your device is in bootloader mode. Okay, we're going to try fast boot check. Device is connected, and our drivers are successfully configured, it says. Now, unlocking the bootloader, you can see we're rebooting here, unlocking the bootloader and um, rooting the device doesn't really do anything to change the basic operating system. So you're still running Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, but you can, again, use uh, the boot unlocked bootloader with a custom recovery such as Clockwork Mod or Team Win Recovery Project to flash something else like Cyanogen Mod or uh, custom kernels. Okay, so we want to 
unlock the device and root the device. So we're going to go ahead and root and install. Well, let's unlock first. Click OK. And we're going to say yes. Oh, power button to select. This is a new tablet, so I have to remember where the power button is. And there's a little message that says unlocking now. And now we see a little unlock icon. And so you can see we're here again at the setup screen. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my Wi-Fi network. So this is basically what you would see the first time you turn on the device. And I'm just going to skip this for now. And then the next step is to, once again, go back into Settings, Enable Developer Options, and turn on USB Debugging. And then you can click this button and choose the uh, root option. In this case, um, you can use it to install Clockwork Mod Recovery, but I'm actually just going to go ahead and do permanent or do not flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. And that's because I'm going to install Team Win Recovery Project later. And you can do that just by going to the um, Google Play Store, downloading Goo Manager Beta, and searching for, uh, uh, searching for Goo Manager Beta, and then use that to install Open Recovery Script. And that'll basically flash Team Win Recovery Project 2.2, which is uh, touch-enabled, user interface for backing up, restoring, flashing ROMs, wiping your device, and making other changes.
And that's it. Our device is now rooted and it has an unlocked bootloader which allows you to install custom software. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a quick look at how to use the Nexus Root Toolkit to unlock and root a Nexus 7 tablet. Apparently the process is not entirely finished yet. <laughs> I jumped the gun there. It's installing BusyBox and Super SU. So as I was talking, you can see that we got the uh, Super User tool installed here. So again, uh, oh, and BusyBox is also showing up here. So uh, that is how to root and install custom recovery on the uh, Nexus 7 tablet. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and again, you can find more details at lilliputing.com and at the XDA Developers Forum.